long. How did you decide to bring this adventure to specifically the Lancaster area? Yeah, um, I've been here. I went to Millersville University. So I was originally from like Northeast Pennsylvania. And I came here in about 97 and started college and just never left. I met my wife, I got a job here. And you know, I, so I'm a Lancaster transplant. And you know, my parents were both teachers. And you know, every summer we traveled. And I joke that if a famous guy lived there, I have seen his or her house, you know, whatever it might be, uh, all over the place. And so I think, you know, this my parents kind of instilled that that love for history, for me, and and then just living here, I'm kind of curious, you know, where am I? What is this place? Because, you know, I just was kind of a transplant. Uh, and then again, like when people just asking me and, hey, well, have you seen that cemetery? Uh, no. And, and just things like that. I'm like, well, what is that? And and just doing that search just keeps, you know, as I'm reading about Shanks Ferry, I keep discovering properties near it. And that takes me to the next thing. And, and reading some more about that takes me to the next thing. And now people email me and message me like, oh, do you know about this? Or can you tell me more about that? I'm like, well, I can't, but I, I'm going to add that to the reading list and, and do some searching on that topic. So if you are watching and you have a really neat historical or um, something that's unusual and you want to send it to Adam, um, can we can we put up your contact or is that on your web page as well? Yeah, you can find it. Yeah, you can message me through the website, social media, or just Adam at unchartedlancaster.com. And, and so, you know, any of whatever your medium of favorite there is choices, that'll work just fine. Now, tell us a little bit about some of the adventures you've created, because you have so many different uh, avenues to go down on the website. Tell us a little bit about how you've created all these different adventures. Well, um, my favorite time of year to explore is like right now in the winter. So the brush is down and I can get out and, and really explore. And and so probably one of my favorite places uh, to go and one of my favorite adventures is the uh, tunnels of Enola. And so there is this 29 mile stretch of, now it's rail trail, but it was railroad. And, and so I walk the dogs there and I ride the bike there. And in the summer I could hear water. And so this is, you know, I could hear water on one side and I can see the Susquehanna River on the other. And so I'm thinking, that water has to go under us somehow. Ooh, yes. So there's too much brush in the summer to get down there. There's pickers and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, this time of year with all that gone, I can go down there and explore. And, and so last winter uh, I visited, there's about a 13 mile stretch now that I've done from basically Cresswell all the way to Quarryville. And there are just scores of tunnels and culverts. Fun fact, if water flows through it, it's a culvert. So oh. you know, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So there's all there's just scores of these these tunnels and culverts underneath the Enola low grade and between Shanks Ferry and Safe Harbor there are four and they are all very different from each other. One has these small double little tunnels and they're they're small. I mean they're a little bit wider than my shoulders and you can walk through it but it's it's dark and it's it's long. And so uh, then the next one is eh, you could almost maybe drive a car through it. Not that you could ever get a car down there. Um, but there's just the you know these four different tunnels. And so I've created this adventure where you need to, you know, go and see all four of them. And you've kind of got to match a picture, you know, on a piece of paper with the correct tunnel. And that kind of helps unlocks the, uh, the, this code that reveals the location of where these, you know, buried little, little gems are. And so you can go home with some, some buried treasure. But that's, that's a neat hike. I've taken some Cub Scouts and some Boys Brigade and some other groups just on it, you know, and it's on the website, you know, the tunnels of Enola, but, you know, you get to go and twist your way through some dark, some dark, uh, tunnels and have a great time. I took my sister-in-law and she uh, looked at it. And she said, oh, no way. I'm out. <laughs> so I'm not going through that tunnel. So it is for the adventurous soul. So there you go. Yeah, you got to yeah. have that spirit within you to start your journey. Wow. And all of your uh, adventures have kind of a different historical twist to it. And just to give a sneak preview for the people who are watching, Adam's going to be joining us on weekly segments and he'll tell you a little bit more about the different adventures. But this episode is trying to give you an idea of what Adam is all about and how he got started. Now, can you tell us a little bit about, um, you know, what they might find on your adventures? You said that there are gems and, and other trinkets they might find. When we go on these adventures, what might we find? Well, it depends on the adventure. I usually try and either create a theme or whatever the sort of the theme of it. So there's one, there's the Peckway Trolley Trail. And, you know, in the early 1900s, there was a series of little trolleys that crisscrossed all over Lancaster County. And there's one that goes from, you know, it went all the way from Millersville, all the way down to the town of Peckway. And the interesting thing was Peckway used to be like the vacation destination back before the Great Depression. Um, it was the place to go as opposed to like the Poconos later and then 
maybe now other other places here in the country people went there and they do the same things then that we do now swim and fish and visit the cave and such but um there's a trolley trail there and you can go and you know do this adventure and there's a couple of neat things to see and some in some stone ruins but you know i i've got a little train whistle there that you know you can find and and you know <laughs> so people have a good time doing that uh others there's one this uh haunted indian gold and this is based on a, a, a I don't know if it's a true legend, but based on a, a Lancaster legend that there is this hoard of gold that's being guarded by this seven foot tall Native American spirit. And he moves the gold nightly. So that's why it's so hard to find. But if you can go and find all the spots that I have out there, you know, you get to walk away with a, you know, a little plastic gold coin. So, you know, and then another one, you visit Shanks Ferry and, and I'm kind of into 80s stuff and pop culture and you can, you know, get the hand of the king from Game of Thrones there, you know, it's dangerous to wear because those, you know, those guys keep dying. So I, <laughs> wear at your own risk. <laughs> love that show yes yeah so lots of, it just it kind of depends uh like the, the the tunnels of enola has some fake gems and stuff in it there's i've kind of created a story that you know there was this you know jewelry heist in philadelphia and the thief you know hopped the train you know and ended up and he was going to disappear in uh safe harbor while they were building the dam but of course you know he, he died mysteriously and all that's left is his diary and he's left clues in it so you're trying to you know mm -hmm. use his diary to decipher the location of where you can find these gems.